Akede Olushe Yi Abiodun of B BDP, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared winner and is returned elected. <laughs> Governor Mark in the poll, a total of 563,756 votes to defeat his rivals. Mr. Adebayo Adelabo of the Accord Party, who polled 38,357 votes, and Senator Teslim Folari of the All Progressives Congress, who polled 256,685 votes. In his acceptance speech, the governor promised to serve the people better than he did in the last four years. For this uh, second uh, tenor, we will even work harder for the people of Oyo State, more than we did in the first tenor. The joy outside the governor's home is evident on the faces of the people as they wish the governor well on his new journey. The man is good. He's good in Nigeria. The man is good. But she, as he's... Governor Sheyimakinde makes history again as the second governor to be re-elected as he hopes to build on his infrastructural drive and the welfare of the people of your state. Olaidio Yewole, TVC News, Ibadan. All right, the report you just saw was that filed in by correspondent shortly after uh, Makinde uh, was uh, announced winner of the gubernatorial elections in uh, your state. And in an exclusive interview with TVC News earlier, Governor Sheyi Makinde uh, promised to work with the president-elect Ashiwaju Bolatinubu when his government is finally inaugurated um, on, the, on the 29th of May. About Oyo State and the fallout of the governorship uh, election, TVC News now has an exclusive interview with uh, the governor of Oyo State, uh, Cheyu Makede, who emerged winner of the uh, governorship election in the state. Good evening and congratulations, Governor Makede. Uh, of course, we have broken the news of your victory at the uh, governorship election, which now, of course, means that you have won another term. Unprecedented, many have said, in all your state. But how do you react to your victory? Uh, well, thank you, uh, uh, Kemi and uh, uh, the TVC crew uh, here. Uh, I think you were the first to uh, uh, go to town with... Uh, uh, that uh, breaking news. Um, I am actually uh, overwhelmed right now uh, by the love, the support uh, that the people of Oyo State have shown to me, and also our friends uh, uh, all over the country, all around the world. You know the messages that have been pouring in; they are really, really uh, overwhelmed right now. It played out in your favor, considering the opposition you faced. Uh, well, you know, uh, uh, I've uh, uh, always been a firm believer that uh, the reward for hard work is more work. And that is exactly uh, uh, what has happened uh, here for the uh, people of Oyo State. Over these uh, past three plus uh, years, almost four years, we've worked uh, uh, really hard uh, uh, to at least uh, take them from uh, uh, poverty to prosperity. And uh, uh, we've uh, uh, stayed true to uh, what we promised them. You know, because in 2019, we came out with a roadmap uh, for accelerated development of Oyo State, 2019 to 2023. And in that uh, document, we uh, highlighted uh, all the things that we're going to do. And uh, uh, almost on a yearly uh, basis, we uh, look at uh, where uh, we are with uh, that uh, document and uh, those things that uh, were left uh, to be done. And 
I can say confidently that uh, uh, for that uh, roadmap, we achieved close to 70 to 75 percent of uh, uh, the things listed in there. So uh, we did not at any point doubt that the people of Ohio State will uh, support us.